breaking news. The LCPD has dispatched elite news teams throughout the metropolitan area as Liberty City is gripped by a fresh wave of terror and violence, which many believe is linked to terrorism. Officials are currently investigating a bank robbery believed to be perpetrated by extremist cells, as well as a suspected train hijacking. In addition, violent blasts are being reported in multiple locations through the city. Police believe several armed smuggling rings are currently operating in Liberty City. With the help of a special division of the LCPD, sponsored by Weasel News, our reporter went undercover to find out how easy it is to obtain violent weapons. Police and news teams are on high alert as citizens cower in fear. A military-grade helicopter named the Buzzard has been seen in Liberty City airspace and was caught wreaking havoc by a tourist camera. Plus, a terrorism expert demonstrates this new wave of weapons hitting the streets, including sticky bombs, advanced sniper rifles, automatic shotguns, and exploding bullets that can shoot and field dress a deer or mouthy neighbor in one shot. Some link this sudden influx of weaponry to, among others, controversial African Freaky Van Hardenburg, who was accused of financing conflicts and a string of humanitarian crimes. He is known to have friends on Capitol Hill, and despite objections from activist groups, recently applied for a visa to re-enter the United States. Mr. Van Hardenburg has also been linked to illegal weapon smuggling, gem dealing, the slave trade, and drugs, allegations he strongly denies. We'll stay on this story. Also in this terrorism special report, where do terrorists come from? We show stock footage of caves. And an American has been kidnapped by terrorists. Liberal public radio reporter Corey Connor is being held hostage. And why you shouldn't care. We call it news. The war on terror, taxes, traffic, and weather together. Keeping reform off the agenda. Weasel News.